much dislike there is between the two, the two schools. Yeah, you mean just amongst the rivalry? With yeah, and then just what does it mean to you to, to play in this game? Yeah, so, I mean, kind of right away, I kind of got the gist of just how much this rivalry uh, kind of meant. Um, and then, you know, just kind of watching it go down my first two years, uh, you know, the kind of celebration after, you know, winning that game is something special. And uh, since I've, you know, been playing meaningful snaps here, we have yet to win this game. So it's definitely something that uh, I want. And uh, I think a lot of us seniors won as well. Yeah, there's always talk all year long about, you know, the next game being the most important. But this one is always the most important, isn't it? Uh, I mean, to an extent. Um, I mean, I think you always got Purdue kind of in the back of your mind just because especially this year when, you know, we've fallen just a little short the last two. I mean, it's definitely a goal of ours that, I mean, this is a game that we want and have to win. Um, but I think it just heightens the intensity of kind of just your daily, I guess, you know, your daily routine work, I think, just becomes a little more, you know, heightened a little bit and kind of just the sense of urgency that you have. And, um, you know, I think it's a game that we're just really hungry for. And knowing you have a bowl game to go to after, there will be another game after this, but how important is it to go into that game with the, the goal, obviously, to win on a winning note? Yeah, I mean, it's huge. Um, you know, I don't think – the two times we have gone to a bowl game, you know, we always went into, you know, kind of that bowl prep coming off of a win. And to be honest with you, I don't really want to see how that's going to go coming off of a loss. Um, and so I think, you know, just for the overall camaraderie and kind of just uh, flow of bowl prep, I think it's going to be huge to uh, go into that after a win. Do you think you guys could be a little looser? I know the last couple of years when you played them, you know, you played them for a bowl, but this year you already have it in kind of in the Yeah, and I think at this point of the season, unlike in the past, our confidence is at a different level than it's been. You know, even coming off of a couple of losses, I think we're still very confident in, you know, what we got as a team and, you know, the tremendous strides we've made from uh, – from last year to this year. And so I think that's going to definitely uh, loosen up just kind of the overall mentality that we have. And uh, I think it's just going to be more free, like it's going to be more of a free flow of just kind of how we do things, considering the uh, confidence level that we have. Purdue has really struggled all year you know, trying to stop the run. You know, I know it's early in the week and such, but this, uh, when you see a team where you know you guys need to sort of like be physical running team against, do you, does that kind of get you a little extra fired up as a lineman? Yeah, I mean, I think every game we go into, we have the expectation that we should be able to establish a little bit of a running game. And um, just based off the little I've seen of them so far, I mean, they're still great football players, and they still, you know, they got the talent there. Um, and we definitely respect who they are. But, um, you know, I think just like every week, we're going to really emphasize how we're going to be able to get the ball on the ground and uh, be able to work our game plan off of that. They started fast on Saturday. You know, scored early and still moved the ball throughout the game, but just seemed to have some kind of self-inflicted wounds. I mean, what did you guys see when you watched the film of what happened after that kind of first quarter? Yeah, you know, I think overall we looked at it, and it wasn't exactly that we played, you know, poorly. It was more so that just there were one or two things on very crucial plays where you know things just didn't go our way, and those were essentially game changers. I think there were a couple of checks that maybe could have gone the other way that if they had been done a little differently. Um, it could have been a much different outcome. But I think when you look at it, it's not like we got curb stomped by anybody by any means. Um, it was just little, little you know, tangible things here or there that we could have done a little bit differently to uh, you know, kind of change some of those uh, kind of big time plays that they had against us.